Hello everyone, give me a moment, I'm setting some stuff up. Creator Live Archives. Hello everyone. Please follow the YouTube guidelines. No spamming, no breaking up messages, no fighting. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new day of All Creator Live! Also, Happy Lunar New Year! Or Happy Chinese New Year if you prefer. It's gonna be a pretty good one from what I've seen. It's another year of the dragon and this is the wood dragon from what I've done my research on. <clears throat> and, you know, it's a lucky year, it's a good year. It's always a good year when it's a year of a dragon, so... I'm hoping this year is going to be great, and I'm hoping your year is going to be great as well. Okay. Speaking of which, Genshin Impact Lantern Rite is still going on, and it's the third day. Uh, it's actually way past that, but I mean, this is I'm going to be streaming the third day, pretty much. So yeah, we got to wait until 8 o'clock. We have plenty of time to look through menus and stuff like that. Collect our prizes. Because during Lantern right, you get free stuff. You get five free things. Free login prizes. These two, not that great. But the Prima Gems, oh yeah. Alright. Only that, but more stuff is unlocked. Well, I'm pretty sure by now everything's unlocked. Yo, Starry, welcome! It's good to see you! Over on Twitch. It's always good to have someone from Twitch hanging out. Alright, so... These two have unlocked. That one, I have to finish this before I can do it, but... I'm gonna be doing this one today, and that one probably the next time I stream. Because we still have two more events in Lantern, right? To cover. Oh, that's cool. Lurking's fine. Having you here is just a convenient thing. It's very nice to have somebody here. We still need to get to 6,000. So I'm going to try to get to 5,000 today. And then the next time I stream, I'll try and get to 6,000. How's that? sound to everybody all right so this one's available now but these two have to you know they have to be unlocked and uh i think i'll probably do this one and this one today and maybe that one the last day 
I like to space things out that way. Uh, on the fourth day, it isn't just story and that's it. Because the, the, the final story for every event is always kind of short. So I want to put a little bit more in there. You know, I want to have some challenges to do. And speaking of story, this one is the one we're going to be covering today. And then the next time I stream, I'll be doing that one. Next time I stream Genshin. Tomorrow, I don't know quite what I'm going to do, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be finishing up Star Ocean. I definitely want to do that. I wanted to do it this past Thursday, but things got way too busy for me and I wasn't feeling all that great. Uh, but I'm doing better now. So, you know, sometimes you just need a day to rest. All right, so no more Prologens. That's fine. Oh, wait, I have one more thing. Just to look at. Yeah. I have a new web event. Wait, hold on. The thing's still there. Why is it still there? Maybe if I go to event? Can I do it in the browser? No, I'd have to do that. Right. I don't like doing those things on my phone because my phone is not that... Well, it's powerful. It's just not, you know... The web browser is not that convenient to do things in. Everything gets shrunken down. It's kind of awkward. Uh, do I want to go up there and sit down? Or do I just want to fast forward? Go well, fast forward. Fast forward time. So wait, wait, wait. What time did he want me to go to? It isn't showing me. Oh, because it's not. There we go. Between 8 and 12. Two days later. Oh, alright. Run two. And that is between 8 and 12, so. This should do it. Oh, yes, I do have a new subscriber that I want to thank. Uh, let me get my list over here. I'm going to thank them again at the end of the stream. I have to definitely remind myself. Oh, yeah. New subscriber, Darius Osborne. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. I hope to see you in the chat one day. But if not, that's cool, too. I'm okay with people lurking. Oh, I don't really call them lurkers. I mean, I kind of got into streaming around the same time that my friend John did and we usually always call them ninjas you know because they're just kind of when you're lurking you're kind of sitting in the shadows you know kind of just watching and observing and that's kind of what a ninja does so I usually just call them ninjas so we're okay with ninjas we're okay with uh people who just like to watch in the archives that's fun too that's good too everything helps out the channel Plan? Hope everything goes well. Plan? I don't remember what the plan was. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> uh, they go uh, throw a pop quiz at me. Oh no. Let's hope it's not nothing too strenuous. Like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Ah, perfect. You're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? Well, it's not just goods this time. 
I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? Here. Uh, uh. If the client's that important, then this must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Um, of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. <laughs> Alright, um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. We'll set off then. Okay, if I remember correctly. Oh, wow, we're already here. All right, well. <clears throat> he has issues with his family that he doesn't want to address, and we're trying to get him to address them. I'm guessing this is part of the plan. You're a bit quiet today, Gaming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we're going from here to Leeway Harbor, or are we just now getting to the end of our delivery? Or was it supposed to be from Leeway Harbor to here? I can't remember now. <laughs> Shit. So this is why I'm not good at plans. I get things all mixed up in my head. My dyslexia. Alright, here we go. Dad? <sighs> oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Gaming is super good at what he does. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself at least. The... the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Then let's get going. Uh, uh. Uh, a very important client has asked for you by name! You kinda have to come with us! Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity! I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me, then. Let's go. Sorry, I was eating and I almost dropped my sauce everywhere. <laughs> I was like, oh no, the sauce. <laughs> well, yeah, earlier on today, I was talking with Bryce, who also streams. If you guys want to check out his channel, you can do so over on the Discord. But, um... I was talking with him earlier on today about whether or not he enjoys uh, voice acted stuff or if he enjoys reading things better. Because, uh, you know, there are some people that like reading stuff because it's their opportunity to shine. They like using their voice talents and their reading ability and showing them off. What's going on? Oh my god, this is part of a side quest that we grabbed. I did not want- Oh no! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just put it all on Paimon. I didn't think this was gonna happen. Damn it. We're in the middle of one quest and we get sidetracked by another that's just in the way as we're and this quest requires us to walk, so it's like, why? You guys do want to read this. Go ahead. Oh my god, wait a minute. Is this the guy that we accidentally bumped into when we were trying to do that puzzle? Is he going to be a problem for us? Is he going to bug us every time we try to do something? <laughs> Anytime we try to take on a, a story-related or event-related quest, this guy is going to pop in and be like, Oh, yes, uh, I, we're doing stuff, remember? And I'm going to be like, no. This is, this is such bad timing. I'm like, god damn it. I'm like, yeah, but I want to go do the other thing. And he's like, oh, let me tell you an old person story about when we used to wear things on our belts, known as onions. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what we could do about it either. <laughs> yes, I believe you. You're old. <laughs> should always believe old people <laughs> like me <clears throat> wouldn't it be cool if Genshin Impact actually did employ some sort of text to speech thing I mean, not even an AI version of text-to-speech, whatever that's called. Because I don't like that idea. That's a terrible idea. But just like a robot voice, at least, you know? Alright, let's get back on track. Go back to what we were doing. Alright, we gotta go down to there. Wait, do we have to walk? There's no way we gotta walk. From Where are we? Uh, <clears throat> I can't find our blue dot, our blue triangle. We gotta be somewhere. Well, it is what it is. Let's, let's just keep walking this way. And hope we don't run into that guy ever again. Oh my god, we're so far away though. Maybe it is better just to teleport. There we are. We're up there. Ooh, yeah. Gotta go to Wash Wong Chu in. Exactly, we gotta teleport there. That is weird. Like, how would we have walked all the way there? This is probably the most awkward walk we've ever had to do, too. So, like, what was their reasoning? We're just gonna make it a super awkward walk. We've been walking for so long! Is anyone tired? How about we stop and rest for a bit? I'm fine. Uh... Gaming! Don't you usually have some delicious snacks on you? Come on, bring them out so we can share them! I'm fine. Thank you. But the winter melon cake he gave us last time was so delicious. Have you ever tried it before, Mr. Oh boy, Paimon. Uh, Paimon. They don't get along. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Find a place to rest. Rest on the other side of... Bridge, I guess, is where we're gonna be resting. Yeah, it doesn't seem that far away. 
underneath that dilapidated building? Okay, fine. We just passed by the Wong Shu Inn, but I guess any place is a good place to rest. This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... Just let him go. Okay, we'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Halt! Who goes there? It appears that one's movements were overly conspicuous. Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Present your exquisite ornaments at once. Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Ah! Uh, what do we do? It seems as if these two are acting alone. Oh no! Perfectly eloquent robbers! <laughs> That's the worst kind of robbers. They'll bore you to death with their in, in, inane prattle. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is... Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, coming. It's too dangerous. This is what I do. A thorny foe, indeed. Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. Uh-uh. Don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Away. Let us away. Coming! Don't worry. He's a great fighter. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. But coming, I... If he had just stayed by my side and learned the family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. All is going to plan. We should be good to stop here. Pyong Lee? Oh no, what is he doing here? Good sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. Bandits? Acting in broad daylight? <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, I see. It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Uh, nope, no need, no need. Paimon's fine. She just uh, had some cake stuck in her throat. If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. Roy Simmons. Hey, my skin. Hey, Roy, it's good to see ya. <coughs> How have you been? Oh boy, you're really getting into FNAF. I didn't think you liked FNAF so much. But you changed all your P PFPs. Roy Simmons. Good. You. I am good. Uh, you know, just playing some Genshin Impact. <gasps> Roy. 
Roy Simmons. Yeah, I love it. <coughs> oh. Yeah, have you seen the new movie yet? Did you watch it when it came out? Sorry, I just got some chicken wings here. They're really good. <laughs> I didn't really get to eat too much today. Roy Simmons. The Fnip movie. Yet I watched it. Okay, awesome. All right, well, I hope you're in, I hope you're okay with watching uh Genshin Impact. I know you usually like watching my Dragon Ball Z stuff, but it's I've been waiting for the new DLC, but it still hasn't dropped, and it's been over a year. It's over, been over six months now. I'm hoping they're still working on it, because I know that they do have Dragon Ball Sparking that they're working on right now, and I hope that's not taking up too much of their time. It's okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh? Oh? Well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise, wouldn't you agree? <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm. That would be lovely. Roy Simmons. I mean, before this new one, I had nightmares as my account kicked for a few years before oh. finally changed. Oh. Um. Oh, okay. <coughs> See, I can't remember anything past what you had when uh, you first joined the Discord, which was the uh, drawing that you made. <clears throat> uh, plus, whoever that was that I just banned, you know why I banned you. No advertising on my channel. That is not cool. Just popping in and immediately dropping an advertisement. Oh, okay, no, that's, don't go there. Not going that way. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, also, I think I might have to change that on the thing. Hold on. All right, there we go. <laughs> I thought I had it muted and I didn't. And then I did have it muted when I thought it was unmuted. <clears throat> but yeah, just take that as a lesson, everybody. Anytime that you see something like that pop up in the chat, don't go to any of those streams or anything that they put in the description or any kind of links that they post in the description. <clears throat> it's always... Just scammers trying to get your money. Roy Simmons. Yeah, that's not cool doing it in another channel. Well, I mean, doing it in any channel, even doing it on something you made yourself. <coughs> that's because, I mean, this is the issue that you had. <coughs> we don't have to talk about that, obviously. Don't, don't mention it. But uh, whenever phishing sites get your information, they just take your, uh, they're like, Go in, get all of your emails, all that stuff. Uh, again, that's why I had to put you on probation. I'm sorry about that, but I, I really don't know if hackers still have any of your other information or anything like that. We don't really know how much that 
could have affected your other accounts or any other accounts that you make after that. So, uh, I've got to, you know, just keep an eye on everything, make, th make sure everything's safe before I allow you back in to use links and stuff. You'll still be able to message and everything like you usually do. You just won't be able to post any links or anything. So, I'm sorry about that, Roy. <clears throat> And any of those hackers looking to get into my Discord? Yeah. <laughs> I'm upping security. <laughs> I'm upping security in a major way. So, and anyone looking to join the Discord, just, you know, think of it like that. All the things that I do to improve the Discord, I usually do just because I want to make sure everything's safe for you guys. It's always a good idea, especially when there aren't that many people and I can manage everything. Okay. I'll deal with it. Yeah. I'm also very sorry that happened to you, bud. Stuff like that can be very annoying. I had someone hack my World of Warcraft account once over a decade ago, actually. It was like back in 2009, I want to say. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I know how much of a pain in the ass it can be to deal with stuff like that. Alright, let's see what happens next in the story. So, uh, Uncle Ip does have a reason to be worried. After all, Ga Ming, the guard we mentioned, is his son. Ga Ming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyue Harbor recently, is it not? Oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyue Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. Yeah, Roy. Uh, nothing personal. Like I said, it's just one day while I was on Discord, I saw all of that. I saw a whole bunch of links being posted uh, from phishing sites, and I was like, what the heck? <clears throat> Man, you should have seen it. They posted on every single channel all at the same time. And, uh, it was all links to this phishing site. So, the only real way to solve something like that is to just flat out ban the account, because then it just gets rid of every comment and everything that was made previously. And that's what I did. As soon as I saw it pop up, I was like, oh, what the fuck? And I just banned the account, and that was it. All of the advertisements and stuff went away. <clears throat> I, I was afraid that I was going to have to go into each channel and, and delete every one of them, but I I was very thankful that Discord thought of something like that. Because whenever you ban something, just literally everything that that person you banned said goes instantly away. Uh, so yeah, it really wasn't your fault, I but because they've hacked your account and everything and you can't use it anymore... It's, it's just probably a best thing that it stays banned. <clears throat> and I know that sucks, and I know you have to be going through it, but, uh, you know, can't have anybody else's stuff get hacked or, or any more information stolen. Because then it's just a chain of events where I have to ban everybody, and that's sad. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, with Discord, sometimes you just gotta do that. You have to get rid of old accounts uh, if something like that happens to them. I realize that you could probably do something to get the account back, but that's the thing. Even if you get it back. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to go through Discord to do something like that from what I've heard, too, so... 
I don't know. Discord really should do something to to try and make thing make things safer for people just to browse around in communities and stuff, but they just don't. I think that's another reason why so many people like using Discord is because they don't have that many uh firewalls or things to go through like they it's not a heavily secured system and some people prefer that because they don't have to deal with all the bullshit but at the same time it just leaves you very vulnerable and you have to be very careful so yeah like bryce said on the discord take it as a learning experience and uh just move on and stuff Simmons. I have four out of Smetting servers back even yours. Roy Simmons. Asterisk something. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright... You must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Seems like Sean Lee has decided to skip the formalities. Uh, well, he... He's a hard worker, yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he cuts back. I... <sighs> Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit... hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places, I also heard that he never gave up on Wu Show dancing. It made me happy. But I was also worried. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. I often regret introducing him to Wu Show dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Then she is more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Ipdak. Sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? 
that's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> it seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. <laughs> the blink of an eye, you say? Do things change so quickly? Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Xiang Li certainly has a way with words. Hey, Gaming, we're over here! Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhongli from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? <laughs> A fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh... <clears throat> Is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Hmm. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Okay, but how did you know? At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course... Their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me in Liyue Harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me. <sighs> I appreciate it, I, I really do, this game is but so this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits, and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. Yeah, Starry, I definitely agree. Uh, I don't think I've told you or Roy the reason why I enjoy recording so much of Genshin Impact with the stories and the events and such. It's mostly because this is a server-based game. It's all running on a server. One day, when the game is finally over, they're going to close the servers and the game will be gone forever. But if I record everything, then I'll always have those moments to remember the game by, you know? I'm not saying that Genshin Impact's going to go anywhere now or a year from now or even five years from now it may even last until 2030 <clears throat> but at least if we all 
record our moments and we keep things in perspective, then we can look back on everything fondly, you know? You've seen the way he talks to me. It's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> you don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. You told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Listen to us. It's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems, I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? <laughs> Ipdok and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Ahem. <clears throat> Zhongli? I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdok, but I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. Oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find a time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be an honor. We'll see you off, Zhongli. You two have a nice chat, all right? All right. So it looks like we got to cross this bridge. All right, Zhongli. Thank you for being here, acting as a buffer. You did a really good job. Zhongli is always good with negotiations. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> you never change, do you? Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. Hello. Hey Jason, what's up? I'm just you're here too? To need to charge. No problem, Time Lords. It's good to see you. And it's that's another reason why I have the live chat in Discord. It's good to see that it's functioning. I'm glad that you posted uh there, because I was worried with all the, the things I've been having to change to up security and allow permissions and things like that. I was worried that I was going to be messing up. <laughs> I, I I kind of felt like I messed up quite a bit over the weekend, but with working everything out, everything's doing fine, so I'm glad everything's working well. Uh, all the new rules are good. Um, people are still able to post links. People are still able to comment in the places I want them to comment. You know, it was kind of hectic the past three days trying to figure all of that out, but I did, and it's good. 
<laughs> the first day, obviously, was such a headache. I feel like that could be why I had a, a pretty bad head cold that day. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, all this is so hard for my brain to figure out. Uh, but yeah, Time Lords, it's good to see you. Thanks, man. Uh, thank you for all the help with that, too. I know that you had your hand in helping me figure that stuff out. So that's great. Also, Zhao's here. Woo. Zhao's, uh, Zhao's in the stream, finally. This is an event that mostly celebrates him and his fellow Adepti, so... Of course, he was going to show up at some point. I've been here the whole time. True, there. I'm currently having a strong cough. A ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? What is she doing here? I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhang Li, I might as well go pay my respects. It's you. I thought you were Director Who. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Ugh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it, sesame oil or something? While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah. And is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps... You could test out the other kite for me? All right. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paimon didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Well, uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite shell? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, 
Come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Mm. It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How's she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. We'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiangli. See you later. See you next time. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> Hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. <sighs> sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? No need, I'm not tired. They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. So I'll have whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Xianyun and Shanha doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Songlo tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Uh, drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, but I deal with them as you taught me, by pinning their heads against the table. Uh? Are Auntie Xianyun and Shanha serious right now? <coughs> oh. <sighs> oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shanha's various eccentricities. What, what, uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other, it would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Huh. You already know of my past circumstances. Huh. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> The poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. I guess maybe Gaming is not doing so bad after all. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. <coughs> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shen He? How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way? If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. <coughs> Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. I like, uh, I really like how, <laughs> how Cloud or Tanner just seems mortified. She's just like, oh my god, I feel like I'm a horrible mother right now. <laughs> just, just looking at her with big eyes like, oh my god, I can't believe this. I, I sound like such a horrible mother right now. <laughs> Which she's not, she's really not. But <laughs> the way Shanna 
<laughs> his describing herself as well as the the life that she's been brought up by. <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit it does sound bad. She has no friends. She's violent. She <laughs> she had to carry stones and <laughs> and make herbs for for and pick herbs for food at the house. Oh my god. This man's just like, holy crap, should I be calling child services right now? <coughs> yeah. Oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. Just think about it, okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Xianyan's plan not work after all? Uh, hey you two! Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the bags. Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? <laughs> oh my god. I really like that. <laughs> she's rethinking her own... Oh, man. She's, she's rethinking her parenting style right now. I can guarantee you that. She's just like, okay, I've got to be a little bit more softer on my recent... Uh, what's the little girl's name? The one she took under her wing now? I can't remember her name. Darn it. Um, she's gonna have to... Cannot simply be gonna have to do a better job with her. <laughs> Definitely better than what she did with Shana. Oh, poor Shana. Lived such a bad life. From her... <laughs> from everything that she's described, it, she's looking back on it fondly, but anyone hearing from the outside, it'd be like, Oh my god! What did you do to your child? <laughs> Master, did I say something wrong earlier? I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Then I helped? Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenhe. You need not change who you are. Yeah. <laughs> Shen is a good girl. Uh, it's, that was not the way that they wanted things to go, but <laughs> it, it definitely helped. It put in, into perspective the fact that he's... Uh, that Gaming has come a long way. Uh... I don't know why, isn't it? <laughs> his, his son's name is Gaming. Yeah, that's how it's pronounced, but it does look like gaming, doesn't it? That's <laughs> that's the pun that I went with when I posted a notification. Uh, I think it was either on Twitter or YouTube, but I was like, yeah, it's time for some gaming. When when I was talking about Gaming, it, it's, it was a dorky joke, but at the same time, you know, it works.
We gotta go this way. But yeah, Gaming is, I guess, a name in China? I don't know. I don't know too many Chinese names, so. It's probably one you don't hear that often. Or it's one that's not used in society as much. Like my name, Jason. I mean, I know that's mostly because of uh, Friday the 13th, but you don't see too many kids named Jason. You always see adults named Jason, and that's because it just fell out of favor, mostly because of that movie. But <clears throat> that's just how it is sometimes. Alexander used to be a very popular name, but you very rarely see people named Ag Alexander these days. So... Actually, one of my best friends named his son Alexander, except they just call him Xander. So I guess, uh, I guess there's that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about those guys <laughs> under the bridge. <laughs> Gonna ignore him. It's a little further than I thought it would be, but. <coughs> It's always a nice scenic walk to Liyue Harbor. Especially when going underneath this huge stone structure. I always thought it was really cool. My first time playing, I climbed right up there. And yes, there are hidden treasures up there. I wonder how stable that is, though. Probably pretty stable. Wouldn't fall. And if it did, it would fall onto that right there. <laughs> So, you know, don't stand there too often. I gotta actually sometime look and see how things... Because there are main entrances to each one of the cities. Uh, and the one for Mondstadt is kind of obvious. But I... I've never really seen how picturesque the ones for Sumeru and Fontaine look. I guess the one for Fontaine would look really good when approaching it from the Aquabus. I want to go back and take a look at my first playthrough in Fontaine. Because the... The main entranceways to each harbor have such great views. And Liwa Harbor is one of the the main examples of that. The one for Mondstadt, I do have to say, is kind of basic. You're crossing a, a bridge into what looks to be a, a castle sort of entranceway. And it's, you know, not the most exciting thing, but it's good for a start. You must be Mr. Ip! Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontaineans are big tea drinkers, too. The Fontaine Market. Then, I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course! Please follow me! Is this person also involved in your plan? 
And here I thought I had lots of connections. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. Over here! Yoo-hoo! Over here! Uh-huh. What? Auntie Shenyun? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. I really like how they've given this voice actress so much more time in the spotlight. Back when you were just playing and she was Cloud Retainer, we would see her more often than not, and it was just like, wow, why isn't she a main character? I guess it would be weird to have a bird as a main character, but she works. And there we go, they gave her a whole character. A whole brand new character to work with. Which is great. She's great. I take it that all is going well? Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. <laughs> I still have a lot to learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Appearing foolish, sure. As for the next step... Oh no! What's wrong, Gummy? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly! Think of it more as an investment, as Ningguang would say. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's gonna bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Oh, okay. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Are there not? Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea. But I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah! We're all friends here! We wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. Got it! Just leave it to us! Let's split up and make it happen! We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite! Alright, now we're, get, we're gonna get one of those mechanical thingamabobs. I've always wanted one of those. I like the word thingamabob. I know it doesn't mean anything, but I, I kind of question what it could ever allude to, what it would appear like if it was an actual thing. Hello again! Welcome back! I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. Uh, I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Please, take your pick. Oh, we already have a kite. We wanted to buy one of those, um, device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? Ah, yes. Here you go. Please, take it, free of charge. 
The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. All right, then. Thank you. <sighs> it's done. Let's get down to business. Okay, so yeah, they're going to do a grand finale thing right now, probably, <clears throat> to Don't be afraid begin to Lantern mistakes. right. It's all but the, the next process. streaming, uh, the next stream that I'm going to do, the the final story bit, is probably going to revolve around uh, tying up loose ends and things like that. You know, like how they usually do with certain events like this. Uh. And just to be sure, I do want to look here. Yeah, this one's still not unlocked, so that kind of tells you exactly what I said. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see this grand finale of Lantern Rite this year. Taken that many pictures already? Ugh, I need to load more film. Be 
Lantern Rite. <laughs> Happy Lantern Rite! Alright, let's go. I always really like the cinematic cutscenes in Genshin. They're really great. Though the next event that I'm going to stream obviously is uh, <laughs> going to be way less impactful than this one. The third one's always the most exciting one though. The fourth one, she is kind of a... Alright, so did you like that? And then they give you something else. I think I'll head off now, if that's okay. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right over there. Hmm. Got it. <laughs> I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushu dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad. Son. Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well... <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I know I've never found a chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. <laughs> All right, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? <laughs> Seeing the two of them talk things through like this really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. <laughs> now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Your treat, right? Dad, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Okay, then I'm off. 
See you soon. That's quite the smile you've got there, Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> Nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. Awesome. Nice, heartfelt, touching moments. And Genshin has many of them. Oh, that's just two other people. I thought that was his dad up there for a second. I was about to try and talk to him. Alright, so let's go around, try to find everybody, and then do the challenges. A very nice lantern right stream. To begin the new year. Oh, there goes uh, Charlotte. Oh, Lantern Wright was simply amazing. I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep tonight. Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. It was invented by a guy from Fontaine. His name is Eildison. Hmm. He's always tinkering away at some mechanism or another. He's even asked the Steambird to write about his inventions on more than one occasion. I believe I have a direct quote from him about this particular one. It, ah, yes, here it is. The device is powered entirely by mechanical components without the need for any additional energy source. Huh. Basically, it's a manually operated cranking device. How high it can fly entirely depends on how much force you can exert. Combining this invention with a kite. What a great idea, right? Oh, my conversation with Mr. Ip went really well. I've already sent the first draft of my article back to the Steambird. It's a piece that contains all the pertinent information while also telling a story. I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I should thank everyone who made this possible for me. Especially that spirited lady with those peculiar turns of phrase. Miss Shenyun was her name, right? It was all thanks to your connections and creativity. I would have never thought I'd be able to bring such a special gift back to Fontaine with me. Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. It was invented by a guy from Fontaine. His name is Eildison. He's always oh. tinkering away at some mechanism or another. Whoops. I believe I have a direct quote. The device is powered in basically... Completely didn't realize I asked the same question. Invention with a kite. All right. What a great idea, <clears throat> right? Yeah, here's the next one. This was my first time experiencing a foreign holiday in person. It was... So whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not true at all, Charlotte. You went to the uh, the 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 tournament for the the card tournament that they held uh, in each of the areas in Mondstadt, Inazuma, and Samaru, and Liyue. So <laughs> that's a big lie. <laughs> I I mean. Was it a holiday or was it just like an event? I don't think it was a holiday. Unless they're going to do it again this year. I don't see why they wouldn't want to do it this year. Oh well. Actually, wasn't she in a holiday that happened in Samaru too? I don't know. It could have been. Who knows? But <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's a bit of a fib there. The festive atmosphere, the contagious holiday spirit, the profound, storied cultural traditions steeped in symbolism. Oh, I almost forgot. Kuching even gave me a kite with a poem on it that she wrote herself. It goes, Dreams are like paper kites. With them do our hopes take flight. Sailing high above the clouds, they yearn for something more profound. Yet try we may and try we might. A deeper truth waits in plain sight. Though we hang our hopes and skies abound, many joys lie on the ground. I want to include this poem in my special feature on Lantern Rite. I'm sure a lot of people will love it. 
Wow, I didn't realize that she could write such eloquent poems. Maybe she should have joined joined us for the eloquent uh, for the poem slam, <laughs> for the eloquent slam, <laughs> for the poem slam, the poetic slam, whatever it was that we <laughs> had at the beginning of last. I think it was back in. Well, I, I feel like that was a long time ago. It feels like October now. Okay, area. Yep, and happy lantern right to you. Happy lantern right, Charlotte. I'm glad she enjoyed it. Does this person say anything or No, they just sell their kites. All right, let's look around for other characters that might have dialogue to them. Gosh, this is a there was a lot of characters in this event, so we're probably going to be looking for a bit. Wait until two days later. Okay, cool. So we have lots of time to get those challenges done. And then end the stream, and then I'll... The next stream, I'll, I'll just fast forward time. As much time as I need. Let's see if anyone's hiding back here. Are you back here, Chi-Chi? No. I do like that they added her... And, uh, Yao Yao for at least the, the one cut scene. We didn't really see them that much this year. But we didn't see too many characters this year. I mean, it's not like every single character has to be here every Lantern, right? Every Liwa character, anyway. Oh wow, did somebody just say brain fart? <laughs> brain fart, my mind's going completely blank. I don't think somebody would say that, why would they? Okay, just cool, I guess. Ooh, sorry. <clears throat> it has been a long day for me. So yeah, like I said, once I get done these challenges, I'm going to kind of call it a day. I just want to find everybody. I really did like that one event in Samaru where they gave you a little indicator as to where everyone was. I feel like they should do that with literally every event because I don't want to miss dialogue. So yeah, see? I don't get it. Is something wrong, Shanha? Tell me. Perhaps I can help. The color black doesn't get dirty easily, so I thought this outfit would be acceptable to wear to work. But Xiongling told me it was inappropriate. <laughs> but inappropriate? How? She probably just meant the outfit isn't suitable for that particular environment and occasion. Nope. But for a festival gathering with friends, a nighttime stroll, or an important banquet, your outfit is more than appropriate, Shenha. So you're saying it's only something I should wear in front of important people? Huh. I suppose that's another way to think yeah, of it. Yeah, I guess that you could be a good way to look. <laughs> but I mean, come on, you don't see waitresses dressed like that. Uh, unless it's... <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that, no. I don't want to get... I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. I'm pretty sure they'd be okay if I said something like that over on Twitch, but if I mentioned it on YouTube, they probably would be like, yo, that's not cool. <laughs> uh. Alright. I don't think there's going to be anyone at the, uh, the boating dock. So... Wait. Huh? Who's this? Huh. Why don't I remember her? Maybe she only shows up at night. I don't do too many things at night.
Man, I really am spacing on where the other characters could be. Well, maybe Zhang Li is at the Wang Shun funeral house. No, well, she's here still. Uh, the one lady that we met during that one event. Have you seen Zhong Li? <laughs> wow, so quiet. Oh, there they are. So, you're still a big fan of winter melon cake then? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I guess you heard everything Paimon was saying, huh? <laughs> of course. She was talking about you. As your father, how could I not listen? Remember back when you were a kid, and you would sit on my shoulders to watch the Wusho dance. Oh. On our way back home, you would beg me to buy you some winter melon cake. We would only buy two at a time, but before long, we tried the winter melon cake from every vendor that street had to offer. There was also that one time you used your pocket money to treat me. Do you still remember? Yeah, I remember. That was the best winter melon cake I ever had. Let's go back sometime. The shop's still there and... I remember the way. My treat, just like before. Are you sure? Absolutely. Yeah, that's one of the great things about making up. Now you guys can go back to doing a lot of the things you used to do. Sometimes I wish I could do stuff with my dad again. But he's getting old and... I've got work and, you know, time flies. All right, I don't know if we're going to be able to find anyone else, unless that's, no. So maybe I could, uh, you know what, she might be on her mountain. Uh, I keep calling her Cloud Retainer, I know that's not her name and I should address her <laughs> by, by her human form name, but... I <laughs> just, I just, I've been calling her Cloud Retainer for years now, so kind of hard for me not to. Oh, you know what? That's right. She does have a house here in Liyue, don't she? So maybe she's in front of there. Oh man, that's on the other side of the city. Dang it. I think there's a type of food that I can eat to guarantee that I have stamina all the time or something like that, but I can't for the life of me remember what food that is. I gotta do a little research. So I can run more. Alright, I think it's down this way, isn't it? Keep up. Uh, I don't know where, but I remember being a house somewhere around here. I think it's around here. Keep up. Remember during the <coughs> the story event. So here it is. Yeah, and there they are. Thank goodness. I'm glad I remembered. Hmm. Uh, one may have won the kite flying competition, Yu Hung, but this prize should truly be reserved for another. You need not be so humble, honored Adeptus. Among all the kites, yours was quite literally a cut above the rest. <laughs> yeah. Please accept this prize. This is magical. You deserve it. Besides, I'm she quite cheated. certain we owe a fair share of the success of this year's lantern rite to you. If you insist, then one can hardly continue to refuse. However, there is another matter with which one would ask your assistance. Of course. Hmm. 
One would be much obliged if you could distribute this case of Sunglow tea among the Miller on <laughs> duty. The security of the festivities rests entirely on their shoulders, <laughs> after all. She's trying to offload. They could always benefit from something to invigorate their spirits. Uh -huh. Cloud Retainer is so thoughtful and attentive to sure. others' needs. I would expect nothing less of an esteemed adeptus such as herself. Understood. I'll get on that right away. <sighs> a fortuitous result indeed. One's tea surplus has hitherto resolved itself. <laughs> Ah, oh, she just regrets having to, <laughs> being bamboozled by those by those shifty marketers. Goodness. I I never fall for stuff like that because then you got problems like that that happen. And don't tell my sister this, but she falls for stuff like that all the time. <laughs> She'll be like, oh, hey, this is a great deal. I'll buy it, even though she doesn't need it. <laughs> I'm like, April, we've got so much shit. I always try to find a use for all the things that she gets, and it's always so difficult. Wait a minute, was that? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, what's her name? Oh, no, it's not, is it? No, that she's wearing a different outfit. Okay, no, it's not her. The little girl, uh, the one that cloud retainers training now well, we might not run into her I think that's pretty much everyone all of the more important roles I don't think there's any other role aside from Zheng Li but I, I don't know where he would be he could be in the one spot where he was flying the kite eh, I guess that could be something I do next time I play cuz the last story part of this event it's bound to be pretty short. It's definitely not going to compete with this part of the story. Especially with that amazing cutscene that they had. Alright, so... Alright, which one's first? Yeah, that's unlocked now. Let's do the Globa puzzles first. Do that one, that one, and that one. Maybe, you know what, maybe I'll do all three of them. Let's see, what do we got going on with this? We gotta get the 6,000, I can do that. I can split that into two. And we got two puzzles here. We can do this one today and this one tomorrow, I guess. All right, so I guess we could do all three of the Globo puzzles. That's right, it's here in the harbor. The value of knowledge cannot simply be quantified in monetary terms. Keep up. <laughs> Just like, keep up. Listen to what I said. All right, now let's... Do the last three paper theater. Puzzles. All right. All right, they each have five moves. Oh, hmm. Two keys. should have when Guo and you were at the same starting point oh okay they can push each other all right yeah I'm not going to have enough to go all around to push him down
Hooray, food. Oh shit, I meant to hit next puzzle. We're doing all three of them. Alright. No tutorials, so we've learned everything we can learn. Uh, it's got four. Guoba, Guoba has four. Yaya has five. Uh... Are they both supposed to be getting to the mushroom, or...? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I see. I, he wouldn't be able to get past the cart. Okay. So he has to get the key... The blue key first, and then the red key. Mm. Yeah, pushing the carts wouldn't help in this situation. They got a crate there. Maybe they can each push the crate. That's right. Oh, no. Yeah. He's gonna have to push him. Oh, no room. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> I don't think Guobo will be able to go... <gasps> oh, I see. I see. Pretty good puzzle. Next. All right. Hmm. So now we can get the box out from there. Can we get? No. So he's gonna need the box. It wouldn't be able to get up to there, though. However, push this down. Yeah. Sweet. All right, I think that's all of them. Jason. Yo, Bryce. Going? It's going pretty good. We've had a lot of visitors today too, so it's been a really good one. So I'm sorry I didn't stick around, like, when I got done with work, I looked and you were already done your stream. How did the ending go? How did everything go if, uh... Uh...
Persona 5. Damn it, I'm trying to work of the, think of the word. <laughs> Persona 5 Strata or whatever. I can't <laughs> remember. How did it look at least like... I mean, I know it looked pretty chibi. But I mean, to you, I guess is what I'm asking. How do you think it looked? Think it looks okay? Don't seem like it functioned mistakes. pretty well. It's all part of the learning process. Definitely wasn't giving me Disgaea vibes, but it it did look like the kind of uh, chessboard. I I don't know. I always look at them as chessboard kind of tra strategy games. Tactica, that's it. I to play more of it, but I definitely am not a fan of tactical RPGs. I know, they can get pretty tedious. Like, that's why I used to play the Disgaea series a lot, but that's kind of why I stopped playing it, because I'm not a huge fan of strategy tactic games. Uh but the only thing that really kept me going with that series is how funny it was, but eh. The humor, I guess, is kind of subjective, but, uh, it is a pretty fun game. And it is funny, it's just, I guess, my humor changed at some point. I might give Disgaea another chance one day, because I know they've come out with, like, three games since I last played, but... We'll see. Maybe one day. Alright, I gotta go claim those prizes. And then... I've gotta do the other two challenges. And then I'm gonna end the stream. Add Astra a Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Thank you. Add Astra... But yeah, I also completed, uh... Day 3 of the Lantern Rite, which was... The penultimate ending. Or not the penultimate ending. It's the grand ending. It's the one where you got the cutscene and everything. Really nice looking cutscene. I actually really loved this year's Fan Lantern Rite uh, cutscene. It was really good. I liked it. And the whole stuff about family I really enjoyed too. It kind of made me miss hanging out with my dad a little bit, but... You know, when you get to a certain age, it gets to the point where it's hard to find time. Plus, we both live in two different states, so it'll be a ridiculous for me to expect him to hang out with us. Oh, yeah. Also, Bryce, Happy New Year or Happy uh, Lunar New Year. Uh... Oh, right, right, right. This is the other one. I was about to say, I know there's another challenge around in, in the harbor. <laughs> this is it. All right, so we got to get 2,000 from this event. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter which one I play now. I've already demonstrated all of them. So for the last four, at least four, we're going to do at least four because you can at least get 1,000 points in this game. I'm going to do random play each time. <clears throat> uh, let's be... Aloy, <laughs> just to mess with people. <laughs> we like what the fuck oh right this person's a playstation player <laughs> snore
<laughs> That's far enough. What? Get off. Oh, man. <laughs> I lost all my points. Oh, I forget how to do the thing. Dang the lag. <laughs> I was like, where the hell did that come from? And then, boof. <laughs> we both booted each other out. No problem, Time Lords. I'm just doing uh, two of these events. Happy Lunar New Year to you too. You kind of reminded me of my questioning of when the new in a lunar solar calendar would be. Oh yeah. According to what I've researched, it said that this year is the Wood Dragon year, and it's supposed to be a lucky time for everybody, pretty much. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know how well you follow beliefs like that but i'm looking forward to it anyway i could use a, a lot of good luck this year that's for sure a lot of income a lot of money all right let's do a random random play again all right i'm going to be this time uh, oh, that's a question in there. Oh, I know. Say you. I know that our. <laughs> our effects don't come into play in this, but. Little raccoon girl. Oh, it's this one. Oh, we gotta collect stuff. <laughs> I'm about to pass out over here. Jesus. Make my Make my escape. 
man. Everyone stay away from me. I'm almost one. Woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh. Nice. So we got like about 300 extra. 400 extra, actually. <coughs> cool. We'll get the rest next time I stream. That's that challenge, and now we do the... the challenge that involves me going... to the new area on the map. Oh, shit, we got to 6,000? Really? Wow, I didn't think we had gotten that many points. I thought we only got, like, 2,400. And we had four, right? Did we have four? Oh, yeah, if we had four, then that would mean that we did get 6,000. I don't remember having 4,000, though. I thought we had less than that. Oh, well, I guess I accidentally... <laughs> Because I accidentally did all of it. All right, well. It's my fault. All right, so we're going to do this one, and we're saving this one for tomorrow or the next time I stream. Next time I stream Genshin Impact. Uh, goodness. See, this is what happens when you don't get all of the waypoints when you get to a new area. You got to run from one end of the map to the other. <laughs> All right, so it's over that way. <coughs> I guess that is something else that I could do when I play next time, since the story's bound to be pretty short. I guess I could explore the new area a bit. Maybe even take care of some side quests, I guess. I don't know. Really, it depends on how I feel. I still think the goats are cute. Goat choke its head. It's just like, yeah, I am. You're right. <laughs> you are a very observant human. Like it's down there. There's a waypoint. Might as well grab that while I'm floating around. Hey, Java woke up. You want to roaming around on my table. Hey, Java. Good. One. Well, for you, it's the afternoon. There we go. We've already unlocked quite a bit of waypoints, so we won't have too many to find. What is this up here? Ooh, clear water jade. Neat. <clears throat> all right, let's do this. They got all the, they got everything in this one. All right, well, let's go. <clears throat> uh, I guess we, yeah. Oh, did I get it? Oh. Keep up. Uh, I don't think I got the last one. Fuck that all up. 
Wait, where's the... Where, where? I like how they give me instruction to go down and then I don't know where to go after that. No. Oh, I got it. It's good. It's okay. Uh, oh, I really messed that one up too. Dang. Yeah, the gold though, it's fine. That means I got it all the prizes. There we go. <clears throat> and that one I'll do some, or I keep saying tomorrow, but I want to try and do a different stream tomorrow. So do that Wednesday. Uh, let's see, what did I get now? Ah, I think that was all of the festive fever stuff. Yep, 1,200. Sweet. Man, very generous. I haven't even completed all the challenges or all of the story. Yeah, we only got one challenge left to complete, and that's this one. And I guess you do get some festive fever points. 60. At least, oh wait, 60, 40, and 20. So that's 120. I'm gonna have 120 extra fever points. So in total, there's 1,320 fever points. I mean, you don't get anything for getting all of them, but it's always good to have the extra just in case there are some challenges people don't want to complete you know some people might find that uh paper theater challenge to be too difficult and not want to complete it so just taking them into mind and that's always a good thing i can very much applaud when a game does something like that make things optional for people shows that they care about the people playing you know a lot of games just don't want to do that take that any kind of consideration into account let's go to the J chamber and see if we could just talk with Ning Wong maybe she has something to say this year no I don't think so <laughs> she's just like no i'm not celebrating this year i celebrated last year because i got a fancy new outfit last year <laughs> when you get a fancy new outfit to do something with of course you're gonna want to participate in that event all right i'm gonna take i'm gonna take a jump off the jade chamber and fly down to leeway because I bet it looks amazing with Lantern right going on at night. <laughs> yeah, look at it. All the lights. I really like the statue they have this year. Last year's statue wasn't all that great, but this year's statue looks so great. I think it's cool anyway. Really fun. Uh, but unfortunately... Oh, wait, that's right. Didn't Granny participate in the event? Maybe I'll find her near her tea set and she'll have something to say. Try to keep an eye out for any main characters roaming around up here. Especially in pairs. They seem to like grouping them together during events like this. Nah, I don't see anybody. All right, well. I tried. Yep. 
get my shoes in. Keep up. No. Just a secretary. <laughs> Alright, let's go to my usual sitting spot. Hang out there. Gaming made up with his father. That's nice. I knew that they were going to do that, but I thought maybe they might save it for the very end, you know? It's cool that they get to actually celebrate Lantern Rite. Here, roll it. Okay, let's take a look here. Um, we'll see how many primogens I have left. Wow, I've got quite a bit. I'm not done all of the events, though, so I haven't collected all of the Prima Gems and Wishes that I can. I'll try uh, wishing once I get everything. Let's see if I can get more, you know? All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm still following that one. I am. Cancel navigation. Alright. Go on back to the main menu. Wrap this up. Alright, so that does it for another day of All Creator Live. I want to thank over on Twitch, Starry, for hanging out. And in Discord, I want to thank you, Time Lords, for stopping by and saying hello. It's good to see you there. And over on YouTube, I want to thank Roy. It was good seeing you again, buddy. I'm glad we got all that stuff worked out over on Discord. It's really nice that, uh... In a way, it actually helped me improve a bit, too, because now I know better ways to try and secure the, the Discord, you know, and make things safe. Uh, and thank you, Bryce, for hanging out. It was good seeing you. I'm glad that you enjoy your new game. Uh, but, you know, it's as I say to everybody else, if you do want to just not play a game, then you, there's no reason why you should continue something that you've already started. If you don't feel like playing it, then just write it off as a one-off and, and pretty much think of it like that, you know? That's what I do sometimes with games. Like, I was playing that... Uh, mutation game i can't remember what the heck it was called but i thought it was going to be a good playthrough for the stream but i was not very enthralled with the game so i just kind of wrote it off as a one-off thing combined investment portfolio hit <laughs> oh my god yeah i'd like it if my combined portfolio investment grew to two twenty billion dollars Oh, did you say that earlier on today, Bryce? I didn't see that, but yeah, I definitely agree. I'd like that myself. <laughs> All right, so I want to thank my newest subscriber. I got you on my list here. New subscribers. Hold on. I can pull that up. There he is. Just David. What a pro. Yo, David. It's nice to meet you. I'm sorry you're uh, just now getting here. I, uh, I'm about to end the stream. I'm so sorry. I'm giving P5T a chance, since I'm only disliking the fact that it is a tactical RPG. Yeah, like I said, you, uh, you should just give it a little chance, that's it. Yeah, I'm sorry, David. Oh, uh, well. Well, hopefully you'll be able to catch the, the next one. It's good to see you. But yeah, on to my newest subscriber. Thank you very much, Darius Osborne. It's nice, uh, it's nice to have you on board, and I hope to see you in the chat sometime. Oh, all right. Well, don't put yourself out there. It's just really... 
It's okay. I mean, it's just nice for people to stop by and say hello. I I would much prefer people say hi. I promise. I would much prefer people say hi than, you know, not show up at all. That's at least something, you know? All right, everyone. I'm going to get to bed, get some sleep, and I will try and stream tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to try and stream the end of Star Ocean, second story R. And uh, I'll keep you all posted in the community tab as to when it is I'm going to be doing that. So if you want to know exactly what times to try and catch me, then feel free to check the community tab. And it's always a great place to check uh, over on YouTube, I mean to say. All right. So if you're watching in the archives, feel free to leave a like on the video. If you did not like what you saw, then feel free to share the video with someone you think might enjoy it. And if you have not subscribed, feel free to do so. We have a really nice community, a great chat always keeps everything upbeat and uh recently i've been adding more security measures to the discord if you wanted to check out the discord uh, i have a link to it on both channels in the description we try to keep things chill and, and really uh have each other's backs on the discord try to make a decent community where we can all share ideas and have a lot of fun all right, everybody, I'm going to get to bed. You have a great night or a great day, depending on where you live. And I'll talk to you later. Good night, everybody.